So first we need to open this up. So it hold by a little screw here, which I took off of, of course, and then you just pop it out. And then obviously you'll see, you don't need to take this screw by the way, but um, you need to take out this screw here, which I already took off of course, in order to have access down there. And just quite interesting how they have provided some little areas so that you could put your hard drive or SSD drive. Now as you can see the power supply here is 400 watt so we are really limited by that. If you want to put more powerful GPU I have an RTX 2060 if you want to go farther obviously there's some room in there so you can have bigger GPUs but you are limited by the power supply and you can just put any power supply here it has to be the HP power supply because the power connectors is totally different in this motherboard so for now we're not upgrading the GPUs but obviously we need to upgrade the memory um, so in order to have access to the memory slot you need to take this piece out here these three plastic clock carefully lift them up and then it will slide out and then you can slowly raise it and then once it's straight kind of like 90 degree you're gonna pull it out pull it aside this one is connected with this screw here so once you take out the screw this one will also come out like this now it's kind of interesting that we can actually put one of the drive here but then there's no other place you can put your SSD because I want to put two hard drive there so I'll probably will mount one here and one in this bay now that's your SSD here uh, it's an NVMe you can upgrade it if you want to one terabyte or two but I'm happy with the 512 that I got and I already put the RAM as you can see I couldn't find the Kingston um, so I try to find the one that matches with the RAM speed and latency and a uh, voltage do not buy XMP memory module guys you can't really change that this bias is totally different than other um, like bias it, it just you won't let you do any kind of overclocking so um, just buy one 1.2 volt you can go 1600 megahertz or ever but just buy it that comes with default um, the CPU cooler you can upgrade if you want but I'm happy with whatever I came with we need a fan splitter here I'll use a fan splitter because I'm gonna mount a side fan here later on I actually got the fan it just I forgot to order the splice so once you put the RAM stick here then you know you're gonna run a dual channel which will obviously check in a in a moment um, now it's time to put the hard drive on so my plan is that I probably will mount the hard drive here yes over there like this 3.5 millimeter here and the SSD I'm going to mount here because I was thinking to mount the SSD here because you can't really mount the SSD here as you can see this this particular holes don't match with none of these holes here so it's not a good idea here so I'll probably will just leave it here because it, it has all the all the screws to line up and this one easily goes there now I was thinking whether I'm gonna block the air flow or not but then I realized the air actually drawn from the side panel mostly let me show you guys what I'm talking about so as you can see this is basically where they are yeah, flow mostly drawn, so I'm not really worried about um, chalking it. And either way, this cover is pretty much covers all the holes here, so it's not gonna make any difference. Um, so, so let's put our SSD in this slot first, and then we'll put the hard drive here, and then I, we will see how it looks like. If you have it, and also don't forget to get your um, SATA 3 cables. You definitely need one more because one comes with the system, but you definitely need an extra one. So don't forget to order that one. 
And for the power, well, we have fortunately have two SATA power cable. So yeah, that's pretty much, I would say you can obviously put more, but um, but then I, I, I guess this motherboard is pretty much designed that way, not to have too many drives connected. So we're just gonna maximize the potential of it. So I'm gonna put the SSD first and then we'll look into for the hard drive. All right guys, so we put the SSD in the slot and I just put two screws. You could put another one here, but I, I'm happy with the two. Then it will look like this and obviously make sure the power and the uh, all the ports are facing this way because you're gonna mount it like this um, so let's go and mount it so we connected the SSD drive here obviously this is your power and that's your SATA port and this other cable goes to I connected with the SATA 001 here I don't know if you can see it um, yeah that's basically oops let me zoom it for you yeah you can see it's right there it's pretty much right here um now we're gonna install our two terabyte hard drive all right guys looks like we found a nice spot for the hard drive in this little HP Pavilion TZ01 and uh, let me show you something so it probably will f like try to wiggle it around I mean it took me like almost a minute to line it up properly but once you do you see I put the first screw here the moment you put the first screw here you see all other will line up perfectly so there's one you can put another screw here, another one here, and the third one right there. But I'll just settle with three screws here. So let's screw all the screws and wear it, and then I will take it from there. Guys, we're almost done. So that's how I did it. I put this, um, the new server cable here, and kind of like tucked it in, in their little. <laughs> cable management system or whatever the provider is funny so that I don't I, I you need to make sure it's as clean as possible for the airflow so they're both um, attached and all the wires are connected now let's put back everything and we'll boot up the computer so guys um, we can see that the one terabyte SSD I actually had some file transferred here from other computer before so obviously it's showing up here <clears throat> so obviously it's showing up here um, I had like uh, partition on them so yeah it just won't drive but for some reason I didn't see this uh, recall my 2 terabyte Seagate Barracuda so I was like okay it's probably not formatted so the way you do it you actually go to control panel here and once you are there go to windows tools once you are there go to computer management and then you'll see storage disk management and then you'll see it's right here so we're going to format that and then we'll see i'm probably going to make more than one um drive anyway so for now we're just gonna do it one okay and tf is everything looks good it's formatting it's all right we are all set so we have successfully added another as you can see another two terabyte hard drive here and these are all part of the one terabyte um SSD and obviously this is our main SSD and for the RAM I want to show you something 
I tried to get as close as possible to the Kingstone that came with the PC, but I couldn't find a matching one. Now I do have, as you can see, the RAM. Let me show you this. It's running dual channel, but obviously uh, it's kind of like, okay. It's funny because it's supposed to be 1600 megahertz, but both of this support 20, 20, 20, 52 times, and but. This is the after my, this is the silicon power I bought, and this is the one that came with the PC. But the, for some reason, maybe for compatibility issue, the uh, system decided to run on 2600 megahertz, which is still okay. But I would definitely suggest you always pair RAMs in the same, exact same um, um, identical piece, because you don't want the chip or the timing and everything to be mismatched but I ran a stability test and it didn't give me any problem um, so that's it guys this is how you can maximize the usage of your um, HP little gaming PC because as you can see it's really as small as the Xbox Series X that I have as small as this one so but it actually punched a really good um, power when you pair it with a powerful GPU like I have RTX 2060 which is okay and Core i5 10400F not bad and a 32 gig RAM which is plenty so I think I'm all set for maybe a year or two alright guys thank you so much for watching the video bye bye